All right, it's a new year, and maybe you're really focused this year on your health. Our next guest says the problem with a lot of resolutions is they aren't simple enough. Here again this Sunday morning is Karina Heyrich, mm -hmm. the nu nutritionist and celebrity health coach. Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. We're here. <laughs> Happy New Year. All right, so uh, everybody, right, says I'm going to be healthier, and maybe it's not a resolution, but it's just kind of something we say we try, right? We get through the holidays, we get through all the cookies and the candies and all the big, you know, uh, family meals. And we say, all right, salads, maybe some soup. That's it. <laughs> Lots of water. You say, keep it simple, right? Don't run a mar Don't say I'm going to run a marathon in the fall. Just say mm, maybe a 5k. Absolutely. People fail when they said these unrealistic goals and action steps. I want to lose 25 pounds in two weeks. So you need to break things down. I always tell people that a little bit makes a big difference. So make smaller obtainable goals for yourself, put them on the calendar and then go five day increments instead of the whole month because that gets overwhelming. So break everything down. Keep it simple. That Okay. So what do you mean? So just write out for five days, what workout, and what time or something like that? Don't fill, fill exactly. out your Exactly, look okay. at your calendar. Look at your calendar for the next five days mm -hmm. and say, okay, what can, what exercise can I fit in? What are my healthy meals? Am I going out? What does the menu look like? Instead of looking at this whole month, makes right. it overwhelming, but anyone can do anything for five days. Once you've accomplished that five days, then go to the next week and schedule it on your calendar like you do any other meeting or appointment. That way you stick to it. That so I like so to smart. break things up into my five days because I know what's happening the next five days. No idea what's happening in two weeks from now. That's so smart because right after I had my second about, you know, seven months ago, eight months ago, nine months ago, I made the month calendar and I stuck to it for like a week and a half. So I should have done that. You also say that sleep exactly. is very important. We know this, but talk to us about it. Remind us. <laughs> sleep is so simple, but makes such a huge difference. The holidays were the season for sleep deprivation and it's time to get better sleep. We know it affects our metabolism. So if you're eating right, exercising, but not sleeping enough, you're actually self-sabotaging yourself because we know when we have less sleep, we're craving all the bad stuff. So factor that sleep in again, look at the calendar and say, when can I go to bed early? What is my wake up time? So plan for it in those five day increments and it will make a world of difference in getting to your goals. So uh, these are simple. My goal every night is to go to bed early. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> um, so belly fat, because of all those things that I just mentioned, the cookies, the candies, the wine, all the stuff that you get from your, your coworkers and family and friends, right? It does not help our tummies. How do we get flatter tummies? Okay, so I want you to become a really picky eater. So the average American gains one to 10 permanent pounds from Thanksgiving to January 1st. So getting those six pack abs actually starts in the kitchen. So three easy tips you can start today. Water, again, so simple, but you need to add enough water. Most of us are not drinking enough. Okay. You need to stash these water bottles in your purse all around your house at work. We know it affects our metabolic rate and timing is really important too. So okay. if you drink 30 minutes before a meal, we know that it helps us eat less. So we got like 15 for, seconds, like eight left, to 10 Karina. glasses, 15 seconds. Left. Okay. And then fiber, <laughs> fiber, we know lots of greens and apples. Those are a given. And then tons of protein helps build that muscle. So things like nuts, egg whites, these are all easy things you can add into every day. This is meant to be simple to help you get to your goals. Don't overthink it. Water, fiber, protein. Got it. And post-workouts yes. you say are very important. <laughs> For more information on that, go to KarinaMethod.com. Thanks so much, Karina. Appreciate it. Happy New Year. Thank you.